Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I'm going to bring you two ways to hopefully decipher your port away from other ports because it's not uncommon where in Arena, you're going to, there's going to be you plus another Mistweaver, and maybe there's a Windwalker, maybe there's a second Windwalker. Who knows? There's going to be, most of the time, there's going to be two or three Mistweavers or monks in a in an arena match and it can be kind of annoying so by default let's just jump right into it by default every transcendence port is going to look like this it's going to look like your character cross-legged floating in the air now there is a way to change this go over to your auction house or if you have an inscription um you know profession the inscription on one of your alts you can do that this is going to be the first way to decipher which port is yours just type in fighting and you're going to see Glyph of Fighting Pose. 16 gold on Area 52. If you're poor and you're on Area 52, I am happy to give you any gold that you need. Um, but yeah, pretty inexpensive. And you're just going to grab it. You're going to right-click it. And it's going to open, automatically open up your spell book. And you're going to click on Transcendence. Now, this is going to change it. So it looks like over here. So as you can see, the one before is you cross-legged floating. Your port is now going to look like this it's gonna look like your character is standing in a fighting pose would you look at that so again now this isn't 100 foolproof because there could be monks using this glyph the problem is i mean the good thing is that i don't see many monks using it so if you are having trouble deciding which port is yours or not you can definitely use this glyph i'm going to start using it because i noticed a lot of monks only use the default one so I kind of like the fighting style as well. So I think that's what we're going to run with. Now, the second way is 100% foolproof of just knowing which port is yours. The only thing you need to do is be leader of your group. And you also need this macro right here. I will link it in the description below. What this does is it's a cast sequence macro. As soon as you drop port, it's going to select one of these markers from this drop down menu, and you're going to have to place it on your port. So let me show you. You're going to put your port down. Your mouse is automatically going to be looking like this, and you're just going to put the marker on the ground. That simple. This is 100% foolproof. They, the other team can't see your markers and you can't see theirs if they're using this macro. And this is more helpful for not only you, but also your teammates because obviously if there's a lot going on in the arena, <laughs> they're not going to be looking for which port is yours. They want to know exactly where it is in case they need to kite away or something. So again, all you need to do is be leader of your group. That's it. And then just put the marker down. That's it. And you can see 100% away, even if you go away. Normally, I play super zoomed out. So if we were like actually in a real arena, you could just see from almost anywhere, you can see that there is a marker on the ground over here with your port on it. You can tell your teammates, hey, look for the green marker. That's where my port is. And that's pretty much it. Yes, that is a 100% foolproof way. So if you don't want to do the glyph version and you want to use the macro version, the macro is in the description below. And that's pretty much it. I made this video mostly because I was... I still do in some games have trouble uh, knowing which port is mine. So I hope this somebody finds this helpful. I, that would be great. If you have any other ways that you know which port is yours, um, please let me know. I'm happy to happy to learn something new. And that's pretty much it. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you later.